so I'm like lost in this place. I haven't died, but I really want to build a bed so that in case I die here, my stuff won't be lost forever. Oh, there's a moron. Oh, cool. Let's kill this moron. Die, moron. Yes, you're dead, scum. <laughs> now let's see, uh, what can I do here? I have no cobblestone, I don't have shit. Hmm. I guess I could put a bunch of valuable stuff in here for now. Just in case I do somehow get killed out here. <clears throat> At least there's a bunch of shit waiting for me. I never really properly organized this from the last time I died. Let's see, uh, so I have like 50 minutes to play around here, and this nightfall is a waste of my time. <laughs> Uh, shit. Where's the moon? Oh god, it's not even halfway through. Hmm. Fuck that creeper. There you go, piece of shit. Let's find a tree and cut it down. Like this one. Yeah, I'm gonna get attacked. <laughs> I know. It's about to happen. Cool. Awesome. Brilliant. See you there, Alex. <laughs> I was like too busy uh, concentrating on this. Meow. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have enough wool to make a bed. Okay, that's where I came from. Over there. Cool. At least got some saplings. Do I have any dirt? It's just staring at me. That's hot. It would get me off if I were an exhibitionist. Just this creeper like, staring at me. Mm. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, put this shit in here too. wonder if there are some ships nearby. Maybe. I'm going to build a, a settlement here. And uh, I see that I came from over there, I see the torch in the far off distance, and but the compass is pointing that way. <clears throat> so I'll build like a base here with a bed and stuff, and um, yeah, I'll just explore around a little bit. Let's try to make a house at least. <laughs> really interested in dying here. Yeah, that song is that I sent you, uh, Death Valley 69. I think Lydia Lunch was somehow part of it. That was always one of my favorite Sonic Youth songs. Like, there's a lot of stuff where it's like, meh. Like, where it's just alright. But, uh, 
always thought that song was really cool. I remember hearing that song when I downloaded a bunch of these uh, like independent 80s compilations. Uh, they were called the Indie Scene. And that song was uh, one of the main songs on there. Probably like Indie Scene 85. There was like eight of those compilations. Each one was like from a single year. Let's see, so I'll put a f bed right here, I guess. No, I have it like a little bit further out. Yeah. We're going to make this fancy. So yeah, my next class starts at uh, uh, 7 o'clock. Yeah, they kind of remind me of Butthole Surfers being pretty hit or miss. <clears throat> I like early Butthole Surfers a lot, and I, I do like the song Pepper also, but um, I don't know, like, I guess I just like their, their older stuff more. Like, I always thought Seafaring was a really cool song. Like that bass was just really cool. Yeah. Let's put some over here also. Oh yeah, uh, I haven't heard much from it, but I always loved the song Tongue. Like, I always liked the way he sings on it. I always thought it was interesting. That might be my favorite song from that album. Is that the same album that has their cover of, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah! This is getting hot, baby. Is that the one that has the cover of Hurdy Gurdy Man by Donovan? I guess... Yeah, all that bullshit I just tell him. <laughs> yeah. Because I always like their cover. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I mean, I like both versions. I like the Donovan version and the cover version. <coughs> oh, hi, uh, sh Shallow Pro. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, this is a mutual world. My friend Alex and I uh, have been terraforming this whole planet. Um, but I'm sort of lost in the wilderness right now, so I'm building a settlement before I try to get back to my base, which I know is really far away. And uh, Alex is also in the chat. Let's see. If you like what you see, uh, please drop a follow. Let's see, let's see. I have maybe 45 minutes to build this house before my next class, before I have to go back to teaching. Yeah, we're also starting a cult where we, uh, well, in the cult, we try to assert the concept that dogs did not teach humans to talk. I know that's really weird. Um, obviously, in history, dogs taught people to talk, like talking animals, like those those Buddies movies, the, the spin-off series to Air Bud, uh, that is what started human civilization. But we like to tell ourselves that that never happened because we're crazy assholes. Uh, extremely arrogant, you know, we, we deny the truth of Buddies. So uh, if you want to join our cult, you should join it. And uh, well, you, you can give us lots of money. See, those movies are really good, yeah. They are to die for, literally. God damn. <laughs> let's see, let's take some dirt from over here. The Alice in Chains album, Dirt. Just some diorite. I need some cobblestone for, like, the bottom of the structure. Once I plant these dirt blocks, I'm gonna go look for some sheep. <laughs> Meow. Yeah. Man, I can't believe there was a time when talking dogs weren't, like, mainstream. Imagine being the superior life form, but, like, no one cares. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah. They're much better than any movie with Ben Affleck, yeah. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> you know what's a really bad movie with Ben Affleck? Is, uh... Phantoms. God, that movie fucking sucks. My dad loved that movie, though, for some reason, but it was so fucking bad. 
It just like goes nowhere the whole fucking time. Such a piece of shit movie. Yeah, he was in Daredevil also. Another awful piece of shit. Let's make uh, another chest. Bam. Let's see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At least I got hurt. Hmm. Sheep. That's super convenient. Thank you, wool, for whatever killed that sheep. Now I have enough to make a bed. The rest is in the chest, of course. Let's see. Let's get some berries over there, too. Why not? God, I wonder how many of these settlements I've built, like, around the world that, like, we'll just never find again. Of course, you found... You found the world with, uh... Or world. You found the settlement with the, uh... In the middle of the desert... Lucifer's guy used to get high on, or think he was getting high on. A uh, leaf! Do you get it? Because he was a fucking moron, he thought the medicine a leaf would get him high. Yeah! <laughs> that one had no saplings, so I'll put one of these here. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know vines could grow on the coniferous trees. That's cool. <laughs> this guy who doesn't care, yeah, this apathetic enemy. That's kind of funny. I got high off Hot Pockets, yeah! <laughs> that concept, I should draw someone doing that. Hot Pockets, yeah! Stick a hot pocket up my ass. Let's see how, how which tree do I want to tear down? I'm kind of selective with the trees. Like if it looks really cool, then I don't want to break it. At the same time, like you know, a lot of them look cool. Man, this goes on for a while. Another pathetic piece of shit tree. There you go, tree. You garbage. I might as well try to get some cobblestone also. Yes. So many things I want to build, like the underwater forest. I thought that'd be a cool thing to make. I think I mentioned that before. I made that on my Xbox 360. Hello, dog. Would you like to come with me? Cool. You're my slave now. And so are you. You're going to be my slave too. Yes, you fucking garbage. Come with me. Let's see how they both. Okay, neither of them said could make it off the coast. Yeah, I thought about doing that, like in the river. I mean, 
obviously we're gonna be mining, getting all that clay anyway. At least, at least I am. I'm gonna do something with the bricks. Maybe change the uh, texture of my house a bit. Maybe. <clears throat> I thought that'd be kind of cool. Because I mean, you know that that stuff. <laughs> It'll burn down pretty easily. Oh, that tree grew. Cool. That's a lot of wood. Awesome. Okay, you stay here. And you stay here. Now let's make a shovel. What time is it? 6.19, so I still have about... Uh, half hour or more before uh, I have to get ready for three classes in a row. Oh, I like I like where the tree is actually like, relative to the house. Yeah, however far however far the fuck out I am. Well, I've never seen a place like this. Like, usually when we see vast oceans, it'll be on the other side, <laughs> not on this side. Like, I think the birch tree is between our base and I. The birch tree place. It's cooler than a cucumber. Yeah, and you know, uh, I'm so glad I have these compasses, otherwise I'd be really fucked. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's get a bunch of cobblestone. I kind of want to make a deck, and I kind of want to add a deck to uh, my normal house at the base. <clears throat> and what I think I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to try to build a path shovel, like, leading back to this area, and then we can explore that place, that, uh, mine shaft, along with the nether right there, because there, it looked like there was a ton of shit there. Oh. Oops. Okay. Well. How much cobblestone did I get? Mm, not much. Here, let's get this sheep. Let's make it pay. Fuck you. <laughs> There you go. That's what you get. Stupid sheep. It has the right to die by my hand. We should uh, play again tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get up earlier. <laughs> Meow. Let's make that bed. I mean, if you have time, that is. bed right there, and... Oh! Well, that's convenient. There we go. Oh, things refuse to die. Cool. I'm gonna try to get up earlier. Uh, I keep waking up super late. I'm trying not to do that thing where, uh... <coughs> I keep pushing myself to stay up later and later. After my classes, I'm just going to draw for a while. I don't have to post anything colorful tonight on Instagram, so that'll make things easier. <coughs> I'm still trying to do it every other day. Like, color something colorful yesterday, and today will be normal. <laughs> Meow. The concept of sleep. The fact that, like... I just hate having to, to sleep. Aw, oh, fuck. I always felt like it was a waste of my time. I mean, I get, I get that we need it, but I still don't like it. Actually, I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> I thought 
there's something behind me. Meow. Okay, uh... <laughs> Meow. Isn't that hot? Isn't being a human being fucking hot? Doesn't it get you off? Gets me off. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, being human sucks sometimes. <laughs> Meow. Yeah. Let's see, uh let's use some diorite. I never I never use this shit. Like I don't feel like having things like down here spawning and shit harassing me. But I think I'll leave it a little open, like this. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Get up here, you fucking animals. Come on. Come on, you scum. Follow your master. Be a good prisoner. Come on. Shit. Yeah, get on the wood. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. Oh my god, you're annoying. <laughs> Okay, it'll probably follow me if I do this. Yes, there we go. Now just push, push the dog. Cool. Cut off my dick and throw it into the sun. Cut off the dick sun and throw it into my ass. God damn. Let's see, there we go. Stick the sun up my ass. It has to be all the way up my ass. It can't just be halfway up my ass. Only a fool would want it halfway up the ass. The last person who wanted it halfway up the ass was Ted Bundy! Let's see, uh... I might make like a cobblestone bridge to that mine over there and I can see the candle, um, but I'm going to have to make it better in the fucking rain. Let's see. Roof. puppets, yeah. <laughs> Stick Vector up my ass. That crocodile. The best crocodile. tree grew already. That's cool. I'm, I seem to be pretty lucky over here. Like, things are growing really fast. I wish bone meal would make stuff just grow instantly. They, it used to be that way, like, ten years ago. You just hit something with bone meal, and then boom, it, there it is in your face. Doesn't work that way anymore for some reason. Be lame. Yeah, but in the old days, like really old Minecraft days, uh, no, 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 
You fucking dog, come on. Okay, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> now that's gonna be hot. I'm just gonna lay in bed and jerk off and force my two dogs to watch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Also, by glass I mean meth. Oh, by the way, uh, the lockdown here in Cambodia is still going really strong. And uh, yesterday I went to get some groceries. This is the first time I'd been out of my home for quite a while, long time, and uh, the military just drove right past me, like uh, screaming on their uh, their horn. Whatever. Uh, in Kamai, of course, so I had no idea what they were saying. But uh, everyone in the grocery store looked pretty worried when that happened. But no one was willing. No one could translate. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. People are worried about uh, the concept of um, like a coup d'état or something. Because there's been all that trouble in Thailand, and then obviously Myanmar got fucked in the ass recently. So there's a lot of political turmoil in Southeast Asia right now. And there are a lot of people who are afraid that it's going to spill over into Cambodia. Oh, there's some foxes. Yeah. Well, there was a military coup in, in Myanmar, the country... Uh, that is the neighbor of Thailand, and Thailand is my neighbor. And <laughs> for cruise, yeah, that's what they should do. <laughs> Fuck what we care about. We're gonna do this for this stupid asshole who we we don't even know shit about. <laughs> this weak little Cancun baby. God damn. <laughs> Cause it's fucking hot. It's that fucking hot. It's either hot or it's hot. You can't have it both ways. But yeah, a lot of people are worried about that. Um, I, I have no opinion of what will happen. I have an opinion of... I'll, I'll definitely have an opinion if it does happen, but like... I don't know enough. Um, I get their concern, though. But the government right now is so disorganized, like, we don't even have vaccines right now. Uh, the United States seems to be uh, doing well, from my point of view, but uh, Cambodia and India are both getting their asses kicked. Which, we were one of the countries that we're uh, problem free in regards to, to COVID for a long time. Yeah, they don't even have like oxygen tanks or even beds for the amount of people who are getting sick. And uh, I think 600 people in Cambodia were diagnosed yesterday. Or not in Cambodia, I mean in Phnom Penh. Specifically the city of Phnom Penh. Which is pretty intense. Like 600 fucking new cases in one city. And compared to America, com compared to like Chicago, Phnom Penh is not that big. I'm gonna kill this stupid asshole. I'll, I'll try to be safe. <clears throat> I don't go out much. Yeah. We, uh... I think the vaccines we're getting are different from... America, also. There's also these conspiracy theorists going around, like... Saying that the Chinese vaccine, specifically, is, like, more problematic. And 
and I'm just waiting for enough people to uh, explain their experiences to me before I sign up for anything. But I also have to pay a bunch of money to, to sign up. So I haven't been too keen on getting the vaccine just because of that. Um, not not the conspiracy theorists, I mean the, the price tag. reason poorer countries have to pay more money which is really hot okay let's go to sleep oh it's 634 already so you have to log off in about 17 minutes or so good thing it's fucking raining and there are enemies everywhere oh okay there we go never mind so staircase right here. Well, I'm glad there's a llama around here. I was worried about getting sick. Um, but now that there's a llama, like, it doesn't matter. There it is. Yeah, I'm fine now. Like, COVID? What's that? I don't, I don't give a shit about that anymore. I mean, there's a llama right fucking there. <clears throat> Let's see. This might be good. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Like, if you if you're covered in llama spit, it is literally impossible for any type of flu virus to to contaminate you or hurt you at all. That's that's just a fact. That's a fact. Like, like uh, Ted Cruz himself even said so. And that's my guy, Ted the fuck Cruz. The only guy who could be Ted Cruz and not be ashamed of it. That's pretty hardcore. Look at the rain! I kind of sound more like Kermit the Frog sometimes when I do that. Like Vector the Crocodile and Kermit the Frog. Now that's a threesome I want to live to have. Yeah, having like a puppet frog suck me off. <laughs> While like Ted Cruz is lecturing me about how nothing in the world is his, is his fault. It's all his daughter's fault. Yeah, god that's hot. See any structures over there in the water? There's plenty of ocean over here, though. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, Alex. There's a boat. <laughs> there's a sunken ship. You see it? You see the silhouette? It's right on the reticle, right where the reticle is. Reticle. I feel like I'm saying that in a weird way. <laughs> That's cool. So, uh, tonight the role of Ted Cruz will be played by Nicolas Cage. <laughs> it's probably an improvement. <laughs> well, that's cool. There's a ship. There's a building, I think, beyond it. Yeah, it probably has a map. And there's a... I don't know if that's just a random underwater structure, or... I mean, a natural structure, or if it's something cooler. Well, I'll definitely keep the ship in mind. After class, I might... Log back on and explore it a little bit. I need more wood. Oh, I'll get that shitty, awful tree over there. God, that's ugly. Yeah, this this pathetic little waste of life. This fucking neckbeard tree here. I love shaming the trees. It makes me feel really superior. Mr. Bane. I mean the bat.
Batman villain, Bane, or Bane, whatever. I actually like the meme puppets more before he got singing classes. I always thought it was like kind of unique that he had this like really abrasive, high-pitched, awkward voice, like just really sarcastic sounding. second floor. <laughs> Meow. Oh, a chicken. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I should, like, make a little farm over there. Make some seeds. Yes. And let's replace... Chickens like bone meal? No. Mm. Come on, give me some more seeds. <laughs> Nothing on top but a bucket and a mop. And a little bitty book about words. I don't know if he's just little bitty, but... seeds. <coughs> oh, that's nice. More seeds? Illustrated book about birds. Okay, that makes more sense. That song that completely 100% makes total sense all the way through, yeah. <laughs> no, no. glad they redid Lake of Fire once he got the singing lessons. I kind of, I like the original way he, he sings Lake of Fire. Where do bad folks go when they die? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Meow. You write a ballad about uh, dumb horses, specifically dumb horses, like horses that like believe in chemtrails, like those kind of horses. Those are some really dumb fucking horses. Or uh, that 9/11 was an inside job. Yeah, the dumbest horses. Yeah, I think we all need songs about horses, inevitably. Whether we write them or, I don't know, anything really. Anything to do with a horse. As long as it's an obnoxious piece of shit horse. As long as it's a creepy horse also. Okay, ooh, coal. Meow. Let's see what time is it. 6.42, I have about like nine minutes. gonna be able to finish this house, but, you know, did some stuff at least. There we go. That's good enough. Look at Sarah Pay.
He's someone I haven't thought about in years. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Years. Ah. You know, one song I always thought that was really cool was uh, Split Myself in Two. Uh huh. <laughs> I think they're agreeing with me. Yeah, see? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I was gonna make some sand. <coughs> or, uh, not sand, <laughs> glass. Wow, I got a lot of coal pretty quickly. No, that's the uh, trader guy and the llamas. I assume that the, the, the guy will die pretty soon and uh, the llamas will just be trapped here with me. That's what usually happens. I like how the chest is full of cool stuff. <laughs> I'm just dumping shit into it. Okay, um... Oh, is my hoe in there? Oh, I think I left it in the nether. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm an idiot. I was about to get something else, but I don't remember. Huh? Huh? What time was it? 6.46. <clears throat> oh! Hey, sh oh shit! More pillagers! Trying to learn how to swim. Pow, 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 pow. Wow. Oh, they can shoot me underwater. Ow. Ow. Wow. Wow. Okay, I got another pillager thing. What the fuck's going on? What, is something hitting me? Oh, <laughs> these morons. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here you go. Some death for you. And, uh, some death for you. Of course, I have no idea where a populated village could be. We've seemed to depopulate <laughs> all of our villages. I just want to concentrate on this house. Uh, man, that sucked that that guy died.
minutes before my alarm goes off. Joe Arpaio, or however you pronounce his name. Maybe that'll be the name of this house. Get ready for my class. Let me just make sure it wasn't canceled. No cancellations. All right. Well, I'm gonna log off of Twitch, and uh, I'll catch I'll, I'll catch everyone who ever sees this next time. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye bye. Yeah, tomorrow. Gah! Alright. Meow. Bye.